Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be comparing the various types of turbocharger systems out there. Um, I've made quite a few videos on the different types of turbocharger systems and someone suggested, hey, why don't you make a video explaining the pros and cons um, of the different systems out there. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've got seven different variants up top here, which I have videos on all of these. I will have uh, videos linked in the video description if you'd like to check them out. Um, and then what I'm going to be using to compare each of these systems Cost, complexity, um, you want the complexity to be low, boost RPM range, you want that to be really wide, across the whole rev range have boost, uh, the efficiency of the system, and the weight. Uh, of course you want weight to be low and efficiency to be high. So, um, the, the seven different uh, turbocharger systems I'm going to be comparing, single, twin parallel, so this is when you've got like a V-shaped engine, um, and you've got two turbochargers of the same size each for each cylinder bank. Uh, twin sequential, this is when you have one activate um, and then either both, uh, yeah, and then both activate at a later RPM. Twin variable, so this is when you have different size turbochargers. You'll have one for low RPM and a larger one for high RPM. Twin scroll, another type of turbocharger, variable geometry turbocharger. And then twin charge, when you have a turbocharger and a supercharger together. So, we'll start with single, and all of these comparisons are relative to each other, so if it says low, that doesn't necessarily mean that the cost of a single turbocharger is low, it just means relative to these other options that the cost is low. So, single turbocharger, uh, fairly cheap compared to the other options, fairly uh, simple, so you know, you're going to have the reliability because it's not as complicated as these other systems. Boost our RPM range, this is where it suffers. Um, it's going to have a more narrow range of where you're going to have that boost. Typically it's going to be in the higher RPMs, um, so that you can have power at higher RPM and then more, better efficiency at low RPM. Efficiency of the system, medium to high, um, you know, for, for the system in general. Uh, and then the weight, compared to these other options, is going to be low. So twin parallel, this is basically just like two singles. So uh, cost is going to go up, of course. Complexity is going to go up a little bit. Still, you're going to have that same boost range because basically you've just got two cylinder banks um, each feeding themselves with a single turbo. Uh, so a smaller range um, compared to some of the other options. Efficiency, medium high, just like the single. Um, and the weight, of course, is going to go up because you're adding another turbocharger, more piping uh, to this system. So twin sequential. Uh, cost is going to go up. Uh, complexity is going to go up. You've got different valves that are activating. Um, boost RPM range though is wide, so that's what you want to see, so you can have power across the whole rev range. Uh, efficiency, medium high, kind of like these other op uh, options. Um, and then the weight, of course, is going to be high. Now, twin variables, so different size turbochargers. Uh, cost is going to be high, complexity is high. Uh, you do have that wide RPM range, so that's the benefit. Uh, the efficiency, uh, medium to high, and then the weight, of course, is going to be high as well with these two turbochargers and kind of complex uh, pipe routing. Now, these are good for diesel applications, though, so they kind of do have their niche market of, of where they are really useful. Uh, twin scroll, cost is going to go down a little bit compared to these twin options because um, this is just a single turbocharger. Complexity is a little bit less. You don't have the valves that some of these have. Uh, boost RPM range, a little bit better than the single, but it's not really wide like some of these twin systems. Um, efficiency, kind of on par with these, uh, though it will be a little bit better than a single turbocharger. And then the weight will be fairly low because it's just, it's kind of almost like a single uh, in that sense, so it's going to be relatively light compared to these options here. Variable geometry turbo, I think this is one of the best options out there. Uh, the, the downside, of course, is going to be the cost. So fairly expensive, um, not as complex as some of these where they've got these different valves activating. Um, a wide RPM boost range, which is what you want. Uh, high efficiency because you can vary that boost range um, however you want across the entire uh, RPM band. Um, and then the weight is, is relatively low, kind of like the single and twin scroll because you've just got that one turbo. Um, of course you've got complexity in there, so that's kind of the downside and cost. And I threw in twin charge, so a combination of a turbocharger and a supercharger. Um, it's going to be an expensive option, a complex option. Uh, you will have a wide RPM range, um, but it's not, you know, superchargers aren't quite as efficient as turbochargers, so it's going to have a little bit of sacrifice there a little bit. Um, 
and then the weight of course is going to be high you've got a supercharger and a turbocharger and all the piping uh, to connect everything um, some valves in there so not the greatest option so one thing that I do want to mention is these three here the rev range the efficiency and the weight you know you can always spend more money you get what you pay for so you put in more money you get lighter weight materials better materials lower friction um, and you can increase you know you can improve all of these different categories with money you know the sky is the limit as far as what you want to do you just have to pay for it um, so I kind of came up with some recommendations because a lot of people at the end of this are going to say okay well which one would you pick so if you're looking at for like an inline or a four-cylinder engine um, I think the best option to go with is the VGT um, second to the twin scroll and then third to uh, just a single regular turbo um, the reason I say that this is just based on cost so wherever you come on cost that's what I'd say is, is your best options uh, V engine if you do have a V engine I would just go with the twin parallel two uh, good single turbos uh, one for each side and that's a really solid system not that complex cost is relatively low compared to some of the other options so that's what I would recommend um, and then Twin charging I just think is ultimately pointless, it's over complex, it's not as efficient, it costs a lot, and so there's no real reason why you would do it, and that's kind of why you don't really see it uh, out in the automotive production world. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.